Hello and welcome to my channel, DIY with Aurea. Today's video is part of an open invite and it is being hosted by Christina, DIY Craftaholic, and Tammy, Happiness Created. In today's collaboration, we've shared project details and there are three specific assignments within the farmhouse theme that we like our partners to recreate. We've also mailed out a box containing the items for these projects which they'll use in this recreation process. My box was sent over to Craft Away with May. Make sure to visit her so you can see the projects that she's going to recreate. And I received my box from Pretty DIYs. And these are the items that she sent to me, along with a beautiful postcard. And for our first project, this is the picture that Raisha sent me. I have to recreate this within the farmhouse theme. I'm going to be taking this heart and I'm going to be giving it one coat with a white acrylic paint. So it's completely dry. I'm going to take some of this Mod Podge and I am going to give it one layer. Now that the Mod Podge is completely dry, I'm going to take a little piece of tissue and I'm going to be placing it right on top of the heart. This will be activating the Mod Podge with my little iron. I got away with not using parchment paper. I'll be cutting off the excess with my scissors and then I'll send the rest off. I took some of the melted chocolate acrylic paint and I watered it down. I'm gonna go ahead and distress this heart. I'm also gonna take this wipey and wipe off the excess. And with some hot glue, I'm going to go ahead and glue it right on top of this beautiful round plaque. I love this round plaque. Let's go ahead and put this together. I have this wood cube with some hot glue. I'm going to glue it right here. And then with some more hot glue, I'll glue in the beautiful heart that we just decorated with the tissue. And with the same melted chocolate acrylic paint, I'm going to be giving it one coat to this wood home word. Every time I go to the Dollar Tree and I see these wood words, I try purchasing them. I think they are so convenient to craft with. Let's go ahead and glue this word right here on the bottom of the heart. I think this is going to turn out so absolutely beautiful. I'm also going to be adding a shoelace bow along with some greenery.
I want to express my sincere gratitude to both my current subscribers and those who will join me in the future. Thank you all for taking time and supporting my channel. I truly appreciate every single one of you. And now for the final reveal. For project number two, this is what Pretty DIY Raisha sent me. And of course, I'm going to be adding my own twist. With this melted chocolate acrylic paint, I'm going to be giving it one coat to the gather word and the border. And of course, later on, I decided that I would water down this acrylic paint. I'm going to be placing these beautiful burlap roses or flowers right here on top of this gather sign. This is turning out so beautiful. I think this is my favorite project of all three of them. But of course, your opinion counts, so leave it in the comment section. And of course, we need to hang this on the wall. So let's go ahead and create a hook. I like to express my gratitude to Christine and Tammy for creating this playlist. Don't forget to check out the description box below and show some love to these talented creators by subscribing, sharing, and liking. And here it is, the final review. I hope you enjoy it. Well, my dear friends, project number three, this is what I need to recreate. Now, she sent me this wreath form and this beautiful ribbon. I like this ribbon. Now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around and I'm going to be using only one row. And here it is. I wrapped it around. I'm gonna tuck it in with a little bit of hot glue. And then I have this yarn that I purchased at a grab bag several years ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the rest of this wreath form with that yarn. So 
So we are all done wrapping this wreath form. This looks amazing. I am liking the textures that this wreath has. Now let's go ahead and start decorating it. I have this word love and it's galvanized so I'm gonna go ahead and give it one coat with this khaki color. Now that is completely dry, I'm going to be using some hot glue and then I'm going to be gluing it right where the yarn is at. I also have these burlap roses. I'm going to try to open them up a little and then with some hot glue, I'm going to be placing them right by the L. And I also have a wood rose also from Dollar Tree. I think that you might be able to still find these products or items at the Dollar Tree. And with plenty of hot glue, I'm going to be placing this right here. I also have some greenery that I'm going to also be implementing. But for now, let's go ahead and work with this beautiful flower with plenty of hot glue. I'm going to place this one by the E. Before I continue to add greenery, I decided to add this little burlap hook back by the wreath so like that we can have something to hang it on. And then I will just continue to add more greenery. Okay, so I said greenery, but we are also going to be adding some more yellow flowers. This wreath came together and it is completely beautiful. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, sharing, and liking. To my future subscribers, remember that the subscription is entirely free. Thank you for staying until the end and now for the final reveal.